With increased strikes on vessels, the Houthi trouble for Israel seems to be gaining momentum. In the latest strikes announced early on Sunday, Houthi rebels have struck four ships at Israel's northern Haifa port. The strikes were a joint attack by the Houthi rebels and Iraqi militant group Islamic Resistance. Houthi military spokesperson Yaya Saraya claims that the ships violated the ban on entering the ports of Gaza. As per reports, in a separate incident, the rebel group also struck Shorthorn Express in Mediterranean using drones. This came as part of the group's efforts to disrupt trade in key waterways to show solidarity with war-torn Gaza. Houthis have also claimed an attack on a U.S. carrier in the Red Sea. The Yemeni Houthi group said its forces said that they'd attack the U.S. aircraft carrier Eisenhower in the Red Sea and the Transworld Navigator ship in the Arabian Sea. However, U.S. officials have denied the attack and called the claims false. The navies of our armed forces carried out a qualitative military operation that targeted the ship Transworld Navigator in the Arabian Sea using a number of ballistic missiles. The operation resulted in the direct hit of the ship. By the grace of Allah, the targeting of the ship came as a result of the owning company's violation of the decision to ban entry into the ports of occupied Palestine. Now, the alleged attack comes close on the heels of sinking a Greek-owned carrier after it was targeted by Houthis last week. Just hours before the claim, the militant group presented its new unmanned surface vessel, Tufan 1. Reports suggest the new weapon carries a 150 kg warhead and has a speed of 35 nautical miles per hour. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.